What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day as always. It's that time again, time for another round of Undiscovered and Underrated, volume four. Undiscovered and Underrated is just kind of a series I've been doing that basically I just take inline skaters of all disciplines that I see doing good work on YouTube that I'm entertained by and I just share it with you guys because I feel like all these people deserve more views, more subs, just more support for all the work they're doing for our community. These five channels that I have to pick from are getting harder and harder every month, I feel. If I don't call out your channel or a channel that you think should be on here, please let me know in the comments below which channel you think should be on here and why, and maybe you'll see it in a future version of these videos. So with that said, let's get into it. So the first channel I got on my list comes in with the longest YouTube channel name I have ever seen in my life. I'm just gonna call him Tim, AKA the Clumsy Skater. And I don't think he's clumsy at all. He's got some super skills on his big wheel skates. He skates all sorts of different types of urban environments. Recently, he's been taken to the park and trying to do some drop-ins and front side stalls, which is really fun to see a big wheel urban skater take in his skills and trying some stuff out in the park. I really like that. I have a video on that calling all big wheel skaters to the park. I think more big wheel skaters should go pump around in bowls and just try stalling on, on coping and whatnot. It's, it's a lot of fun. That being said, this channel is really entertaining. I think just the way he puts his videos together and narrates over them, there's something just so intriguing, relaxing, but there's, there's like just the storytelling, the narration that he does over it just really connects with me and I just really enjoy watching his, his episodes. So if you're an urban skater looking for some inspiration, go check his channel out and give him a sub. All right, so for my second channel, it's gotta be Roll Over the Hill. This guy is an amazing aggressive skater with so much style to his channel. It probably helps that he's an illustrator uh, and you'll see all of his murals and designs and drawings all over the inline scene right now, like on Back to Blading's channel on that wall. He did that wall for him, I believe. He's got a similar wall in his basement where he rolls his P-rail. On top of that, he's just a really good aggressive skater. And I really enjoy watching and looking up to his skills and trying to put some of the things he's doing to practice in my own aggressive skating. But that being said, he also has review videos or kind of just good product insight in the aggressive game. If you're looking for just an aggressive inline skating channel that has really good inspirational like rolling videos as well as insight into different products, go check his channel out and give him a sub. So for the next channel, Duck Truck Blading. Not sure what that name even means. I would love to hear in the comments below Duck Truck Blading <laughs> an explanation of that, of that name. The backstory would be awesome. But anyway, this guy, his channel is so much fun to watch for me, basically because in the recent mm, last three, four months or so, I've really gotten into the whole Flatland freestyle wizard skating thing that's happening with you know rockered frames and whatnot. I, I just really enjoy it. It's almost like aggressive big wheeling in a way because you're on, you have that fluid movement of big wheeling, but you're also doing kind of some trick maneuvers, I would say. And you can do it anywhere. And that's the biggest thing that I think about his channel is that I really enjoy. He's an amazing wizard skater, a freestyle skater. But the things that he does in basically the most simple environments, like a curb or, you know, just the most simple places that you wouldn't, you wouldn't see it and be like, oh, I wanna skate this spot for like an hour. He does it and he does it so well. If you're into that kind of big wheel wizard, flatland, freestyle stuff, Go check his channel out, give him a sub. All right, so the third channel I'm bringing to you this week has to be Mike McFly. This guy I've been following for a while. Every time I watch his channel, it puts me in a good mood. It's just such a great time. I don't know, it's you know the fact that he uses some great retro music. Uh, he puts up retro videos uh, of rollerblading all the time. Some that I've never even seen before. It's just so much fun to have him archive that stuff on his channel so that we can all see it in the future. Or the retro gaming he'll throw in here and there because I'm a big video game nerd. So, you know, just having that mix of things that I grew up on and I love like blading and gaming, music, all thrown in this nostalgic like thing <laughs> on his channel. It's always a great time. He just always hits you 
with some level of nostalgia. If you're a 30 plus inline skater, video gamer, just someone that literally is the, the majority of my channel, uh, go check his channel out right away because I seriously think he's gonna bring up some nostalgia for you and it's just a great time. So go check his channel out and give him a sub. All right, so for the last channel, this one I almost didn't add because he only has four videos on YouTube right now. Yeah, that's right. I decided to add this just because I enjoy his content so much and I want this uh, bump in subscribers and views to really push him to keep making YouTube videos for our community. And that channel is Passive Aggressive Skater. He's got a really good Instagram channel and he's just kind of starting to pull over into the YouTube game and make videos, which is why he's only got four videos. But I love every single one of those videos he's created. Um, he is a big wheel, urban kind of skater and I, I just really enjoy the quality of his content. It's really, really good stuff. So if you're an urban, big wheel, whatever skater, and you really like high quality inline skating content on YouTube, make sure you go give his channel a sub and tell him that I told you to make some more videos on a more consistent basis because we're all yearning for him. All right, guys, so that's my five for this time. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Hopefully you found all of them inspiring and you go subscribe to all of them for them and our community just to keep it growing. If you guys didn't see your channel that you would like to see on this list this time, please make sure you write them down in the comments below and tell me why you think they should be on this Undiscovered and Underrated series. I am all ears for new channels and who should be promoted and highlighted. Uh, I think this is just a great thing for our community and I'm gonna keep them coming out as much as I can. But that's it for this one, guys. If you guys like the video, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss any of these uploads. And until next time, guys, just keep rolling.